Our next item is a briefing on the aviation five-year capital improvement plan. Mr. Wilson, welcome. <clears throat> Mayor Pro Tem, Council, good afternoon. I'm Bill Wellstead, Aviation Director for the City of Fort Worth. Today I'll be presenting on the department's five-year capital improvement plan, which includes Alliance, Meacham, and Spinks. Hey, Kevin, there you go. Here's your photo again. Just in case we forgot it, that's actually why I put it there. Uh, sorry, let me get this. I'd like to start with a few assumptions that we considered as part of our financial planning efforts in relation to our CIP. Gas well revenue has declined significantly. This wasn't unexpected, but it does continue to drop. Aviation funding levels are tightening at the federal level, and we've seen the impact of this over the last few years with a continual decrease in grant funding. Demand is high for Fort Worth aviation assets. We have 100% occupancy at all three airports, and we have for some time with an extensive wait list. Because of this, we're able to maintain our rates and charges at market value while remaining competitive with other re regional airports. Here are a few of our, our goals pertaining to CIP development. Over the next two years, all airports will develop a new master plan. Federal funding will cover 90% of that cost. Although we're representing a, presenting a five-year CIP for your consideration, we actively manage a 20-year CIP to anticipate funding shortfalls 10, 15 years out. This also gives the state and FA justification for increased funding levels. One of the more difficult objectives was the gradual adjustments of our rates and charges. Over the past four years, we've slowly increased fees to market value, which has in turn prepared us for the downturn in gas well revenues. And finally, our goal is to maintain a three-year grant match reserve. We expect a minimum level of funding per year for each airport from the state uh, through the FAA. With Council's approval, we provide the match to secure these grants. It's not uncommon for additional funds to become available at the end of the year. This three-year reserve allows us to accept these additional discretionary funds if they come available. Now we're into the individual airport capital improvement plans. Alliance, the primary project at Alliance is the dual runway extension project. Total project cost is around $250 million. We expect completion in 2017, but with the rain we've seen, this could get pushed well into 2018. We'll continue to apply for needed federal discretionary funding to complete, to complete this project. For years 2018 through 2021, entitlement funds will be used for many of the improvements, which is calculated off of the cargo tonnage handled by Alliance. Since Alliance is categorized as a commercial airport, we get the benefit of this fairly dependable revenue source. With these funds, in 2018, we'll rehabilitate and replace some of the existing runway and taxiway lighting components. And in 2019, we'll move to the runway shoulders for rehabilitation. With the type of aircraft and level of operations Alliance sees, it's time to begin replacing some of the taxiway pavement on the airfield. In 2020, we intend to replace taxiway Foxtrot and Papa the uh, two pieces of pavement shown in blue, which will ensure continued safe operation on those two runway access points. Finally, in 2021, we'll rehabilitate taxiway pavement across the airfield, extending the useful life of all pavement on the airport. Meacham Airport CIP is focused on reinvention. Over the next two to three years, we're going to see a rapid change in the, in the appearance of Meacham Airport. This has been driven primarily by our limited gas well revenue funds. In 2017, we'll have completed phase one of the airport frontage improvements, which includes placing all overhead utility and electrical wiring underground. Phase two, with council's approval, will replace all fencing with black ornamental per perimeter fence with Mo strip and new gates as well. Phase three isn't programmed until 2022 but with the recent total and Chesapeake settlements, we may be able to move this phase up, which includes new sidewalks, landscaping, and new lighting. The Meacham Administration Building will be complete in January of 2017. This is already funded. American Arrow, the new Meacham FBO, is excited about the anchor tenant, excited about becoming the anchor tenant in this facility. We also have all of our other tenants moving back into the building from the uh, temporary facilities that we set up. 
Also in 2017, we expect to receive a grant for the construction of Taxiway Echo, which runs along the front of the Texas Jet FBO and provides access to numerous tenants at the north end of the airport. In 2018, we'll begin the process for redevelopment of the old runway 927 land in partnership with the state. Many of the businesses at Meacham are excited at the opportunity to expand into this area. 2018 will allow for a coordinated master planned effort by the city, state, and tenants. In 2019, we'll construct new parallel taxiway Tango, that's the name of the taxiway, Tango, which gives access to undeveloped land on the west side of Meacham. And in 2020 and 2021, we'll begin re rehabilitating taxiways Juliet and Apron Delta Taxi Lane. I know the Mayor Pro Tem asked for a, a kind of a schematic design. I couldn't help it. I had to show it how it exists today. Um, this is the new administration building as it stands today. This photo was just taken. Completion, as I mentioned, is expected in January of 2017, uh, but I would say along with uh, the Alliance uh, project, rain could delay that completion date. This is a, a schematic drawing of the front of Meacham Airport that was made a good two to three years ago. We're making progress on it. The, uh, the wall has been constructed and the entrance uh, here on the south end has also been put in leading up to the uh, administration building. Spinks, Mr. Jordan. We have a lot happening at Spinks as well. With the new perimeter road construction being complete in spring of 2017, airport vehicles, including loaded fuel trucks, will now be able to drive around the runway instead of across it. It also open, opens up access to undeveloped land to the north of the FBO and establishes access to the new Community Fire Station 42, which will serve South Fort Worth. Also, in order to meet, yes, I agree, our financial goal of making Spinks financially self-sustainable, we're proposing to buy out the leasehold interest in specific hangars at Spinks in 2017. This allows us to receive revenue for the hangar itself and not just the land that it's built on. We expect that Spinks will cover its own expenses, right, Aaron, by 2021. Also in 2018, we'll replace and expand Taxiway Charlie, which will again open up land for hangar development on the northeast side of the airport. Spinks Airport is seeing a significant jump in developer interest, and in response, we're prioritizing access to undeveloped land. Also in 2018, we'll begin construction of the 12-unit hangar complex previously approved by council. This is a schematic design of Station 42 that will be located just off of uh, the new perimeter road on the northwest portion of Sphinx Airport. We're moving to LED airfield lights in 2019, and we're looking forward to the energy savings of this project. Maybe it'll help you balance the budget, Aaron. And finally, in 2020, we'll, begi we'll begin the process for extending the runway and parallel taxiway at Sphinx through an environmental assessment and construction planned in 2021. Now this project is dependent on the type of aircraft based at Sphinx as well as the transient aircraft that operate out of there, the transient aircraft that we can attract to Sphinx. We believe it's needed. We've, we've known this for some time. The numbers show this to be the case and the tenants have expressed their support for many years now. Over the next 20 years, we're looking to ensure we have a diverse and dependable source of revenue for our CIP needs. Our ability to cover CIP expenses through operating pay-as-you-go funds is improving. All of our equipment and some of our grant matches are now being made through operating revenue. The decision by Council to establish the Aviation Trust Fund and the annual investment income we realize puts us in a more competitive position to seek additional discretionary funding and to keep rates at a competitive level. Although gas well revenue continues to drop, we'll, we're still seeing the benefits of this revenue source. Our goal is to spend these one-time funds in a manner that produces long-term operating revenue. And finally, the FA continues to recognize the Alliance land credits that have been so valuable to the runway extension project at Alliance. 
We expect these credits to assist us with our Alliance Airport grant matches through 2026. Total investment for our three airports, over $60 million over the next five years for Alliance Airport, $27 million for Meacham, and $23 million for Sphinx. That's with no private dollars considered. The department's next step is to seek council approval of the five-year CIP at the June 28th council meeting. And with that, I can take any questions you might have. Well, Bill, excellent uh, presentation. I want to commend you and the entire aviation staff for the great work that you all are doing. Uh, it's clear that the Fort Worth airports are uh, really going in a great direction. Uh, and refresh my recollection in terms of uh, an economic impact study. I know that there was one, uh, I don't know if it was with Meacham, Spinks, or all three, but uh, because I know there's an, out, there's an old economic impact, so at least with Meacham. What's the status of that? That's a good question. We actually do not have one programmed right now. Um, we do have the existing studies. It shows uh, just over a quarter billion dollars annually for Meacham Airport alone. But wow. we will uh, take a look at that and see where that falls in our capital improvement plan to update our economic impact uh, study. Yeah, as Councilmember Jorman Zimmerman frequently remind us, uh, the city of Fort Worth has a rich aviation history, and it's great to see that the city's airports are progressing uh, very well, and the city's making uh, much needed improvements at the airports uh, to keep up both with trends in the general aviation industry, private industry, and the whole aviation industry as a whole. So uh, any comments or questions for Mr. Uh, Wellstead? Yes, sir. Great job. Thank you. All right.